Today, I'm going to talk about HPLC columns. Are you familiar with the structure of an HPLC column? An HPLC column is the heart of an analytical instrument. Depending on the purpose of the analysis, an appropriate column is selected and installed in the instrument. An HPLC column consists of a cylindrical pipe filled with fine particles known as packing material. This column is made of one of two different materials. One type of column is made of stainless steel. It's commonly used and can withstand high pressures. However, since the column is metal, it can cause issues such as poor peak shape when measuring components that are adsorbed by metals. Another type of column is made of peak. This type is used when measuring components that are adsorbed by metals. However, peak columns have the drawback of being unusable at high pressures because they're made of resin. A column is available that combines the advantages of stainless steel and peak. There's also a type of peak column that's encased in stainless steel. This column makes it possible to measure, at high pressure, samples that react with metals. Columns having different lengths are available. Lengths from 30 to 300 millimeters are generally used. The longer the column, the longer the analysis time, but the better the separation and the higher the pressure that can be used. For example, this chromatogram has two peaks at around the 10 minute position. As the length of column is increased, the two peaks are moved to about the 15 minute position. You can see that another peak that appeared at the end is offset by about 10 minutes. Columns having different inner diameters are available, too. The most commonly used HPLC columns have an inner diameter of 1 to 4.6 millimeters. When measuring trace amounts of a precious sample, a capillary HPLC column is sometimes used. And when separating and refining a synthetic substance or extracting a natural substance, a column with a large inner diameter called a preparative column is used. 